Hi, my name is Ron Stewart from Do Yoga With Me. Today we're doing a short class to get you breathing in your body and on with your day. Have a great class. We're going to start standing and placing feet hip width apart. If you need, that's roughly two fists. And sinking your weight down into the earth and maybe closing your eyes to begin with. And imagine your body like a star is radiating energy in all directions. So I feel my heart lifting, my shoulders are broad and expansive and reaching out towards the horizons, my crown is reaching for the sky, and my heels and feet are dropping roots deep down into the earth. And then fill yourself with breath. I invite you, um, above everything, to be aware of your breath in this practice. Let's start by inhaling the arms up. Full body breathing, and exhale the hands down the midline. I'm going to do that three times, softening the knees when we want to. And again, inhale, reaching out towards the horizon, up towards the sky, even letting the shoulders come up by the ears. And then exhale, bring it down. I'm softening my knees. One last time, big breath, inhale. I'm gonna bring a little back bend into it, lifting my heart even more. I'm gonna interlace my hands, bring the shoulders way up by the ears, and then exhale, drop the shoulders, bend the knees, let out a little sigh. Take a nice inhale. I'm gonna just lift into a little bit of a back bend here, and then exhaling into a chair pose with my hands on the knees. Inhale, bring the heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the tail, eyes look towards the feet. Inhale. And exhale. It's like a cat cow, but in a standing position. Inhale, my tail is reaching for the back of my mat, my heart for the front of the mat, and my crown towards the sky. And once more, exhale. Inhaling up. Shoulders back and down, palms facing forward beside the hips. And take a breath here. If you'd like to challenge yourself a bit more, sink down into the knees. Shift your weight into your heels. And feel the vibration in the body. Big breath. We're going to inhale, lifting the arms above the head. And bring the palms towards the back. Elbows reaching for the sky. Belly button drawn in, taking a nice inhale. Little bit of a back bend here again, nothing too extreme. Just by tipping the elbows back in space, feel that opening up through the chest. Big inhale. I'm going to go back down into a chair pose with the hands reaching for the horizon. Loop the shoulders. Inhale up by the ears and exhale down the back. Challenge yourself a little bit more, sinking down. Take another inhale. We're gonna breaststroke the hands, interlace them behind the back if you can. If not, palms down, fingertips reaching towards the back space. So my reach towards the back space with my heart and crown reaching forward creates an opening and uh, opening through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. I'm going to just interlace my elbows. Bending knees as much as you need or want to find grace and comfort in this pose. Two breaths. Hands come to the knees. Pressing hands into the knees, stack up like a rag doll. Abdominal strong, supporting the spine as it unravels into mountain pose. Palms forward. Take a breath, shift into your left leg, pick up the right. Flexed foot, lift it up with the arms, breathing. Feel rooted through your left leg. My rib cage as I breathe is reaching out to the sides of the room. Beautiful, I'll take another inhale. We're gonna exhale, foot to the floor, hands to the heart. Going up into the second side, lifting the left leg, 
sweeping the arms above the head, shoulders dropped. And imagine the back of the head, back of the shoulders, and back of the pelvis are all resting against a wall. Another inhale, and on the exhale, bring it all to the ground. Left foot meets the mat, hands join at the heart center. Taking it into a seated twist, right elbow, left knee. Stacked shoulders, feet on the floor, knees on the same line. Take a beautiful sweet inhale. Exhale, windmill the arms, meet them at the top. Big breath, big back bend. Exhale, breath stroke the hands to the hips. Elbows in the back space. Tip up higher, tuck the tail to the floor turn to the sky. Take another inhale. We'll sweep the arms back to the heart center. Fingertips reaching beyond the body. Twist, second side. Left elbow, right knee. Take your time. Connect everything to breath. Finding the pose. Sweeping the eyes to the sky. Feeling the groundedness through the earth as your eyes look skyward. Two more breaths. Lengthen the spine. Taking another inhale, back crawl the arms up. Hands meet at the top. Exhale down the center line. And again, inhale. Sweep, big reach through the fingertips, open up through the heart. Exhale, let out a sigh. And again, balancing on the left leg, pick up the right leg, arms reach up, and exhale down. Other side, lift up the left leg, and down. Chair pose, palms forward, reaching through the pinky finger, feel the roll of the shoulders, and let that take you into a back bend and then unfurl the spine, the belly button, the chest, and the eyes, hands to the floor. Walk back into downward dog. Full breath. Pressing into the toes, lifting the heels high, dropping the shoulders down the back, and then take the heels to the left side of your mat. Full breathing, reach into that right arm, Relaxing the head. Feel the stretch through the right side of the body. Watch the feet as the heels lift up, describe their own arc, and lower down to the right side. Reaching through that left arm, left side of the body. The left sits bone is reaching away to the back corner. Shoulders down the back. Take another inhale. The heels describe an arc. Heels over toes, bending the knees. Take a breath, knees an inch off the floor. Take another inhale to exhale, soften the knees and a brief child's pose. Keeping the fingertips reaching for the front of the mat, maybe the shoulders come up by the ears a little bit, but reach the tail for the back of the mat. Fill yourself with breath. Coming forward into plank. Let the body unfurl, soften the elbows, soft knees, plank. Allow yourself to lift the right leg and lower. Inhale, lift the right left leg and lower, I'll repeat. We'll lift the right leg and lower. Inhale, lift the left leg and lower. Downward dog. Let's float that right leg to the sky. Nice sweet arc as that right foot reaches for the sky. Left heel reaching into the floor. Come into a runner's lunge. Feeling the spiral through the arms, reaching out through the pinkies. Back heel reaching for the back of the mat. 
belly drawn in, tail dropped. Inhale, float the arms. Back bend, reaching the thumbs towards the back of the room. Heart forward, front knee forward, back heel back. Take a breath, hands to the mat. Downward dog. Soft elbows. Find pleasure in the posture. Left leg. Reach up for the sky. Feel the two feet reaching in opposite directions. Take a nice inhale. We're going to come into runner's lunge. Allowing yourself to get stable before you peel the spine to lift up. Spiral through the arms, reaching through the pinkies. They're like kickstands. So that energy that's moving outside of the body can contact the floor and help you stay stable. Lower the pelvis. Take a breath, sweep the arms up. Lots of breath in the body. Reaching the fingertips out, the shoulders drop down. Feel this beautiful stretching arc running right up the front of your body. And exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping back, coming into plank pose and lowering all the way to the floor. Easy, with as many breath cycles as you want or need. Contact. Fingertips in line with your lower ribs. Reach through the legs and inhale, lift the heart. And let the breath be audible. We're gonna press back into a child's pose. Inhale, unfurl your child's pose, coming through to plank, back to downward dog, right leg, coming through, warrior one. Placing feet, get centered and grounded, and then unfurl the spine. Spiraling arms, kickstands, float the arms up. See if you can find a smile on your face. Lower yourself a little bit more, only if that feels fabulous in your body. If fabulous is straightening that leg and lowering the arms, follow that impulse. We're gonna go into the other side. Let's flow through. Hands to the mat, step back, plank pose. Exhale, lowering down, coming through into upward dog, plank, back into downward dog. Left side, left leg. See your feet. Find your balance, peel up, kickstand, sweep the arms. Imagine you're reaching for that back foot with your hands. There's a huge circle in the back of your body. Take an inhale, lift your gaze. And exhale, coming back down, plank pose. There's the reach through the arms, crown, heels, downward dog. Full body breathing, bending the knees. Whether you want to jump feet to hands or you can walk forward, but before you do, just let the knees bend and have that push off through the legs like a jump, like you're a frog, push off. And then if you'd like, you can jump forward or walk forward. Drape over the legs for one big breath. Ah. Hands to knees. Inhale through the spine. Chair pose. Take a breath. Breath stroke the hands behind you, interlace. Full breath, feel the spine here. We're gonna take this into a standing back bend. Let out the breath through an open mouth. Sweep the arms forward and up. And exhale, calm. Hands to the heart. Kickstand hands. We're gonna pick up the right foot and twist 
to the right. Back to the center. Same thing, other side. Left leg up, twist to the left. Try it again. Down to the right. So I'm actively reaching through my fingertips to help guide my body in space and find balance. And let's see if you can do it continuously with breath. Exhale to inhale. Exhale to inhale. Exhale to inhale. One last time. Exhale to inhale. And down. Feet hip width apart. Breathing. I'm going to step back on the right foot. Both left and right toes face the long side of the mat. Inhale, hands to hips, shoulders down the back. Taking a breath, bend the knees. And exhale, bring the spine parallel to the floor. Pick up just the toes so that the ankles and the legs become active. And imagine a physio ball between the legs. So the knees are just slightly reaching out. Breaststroke those hands behind you. Interlace behind the back. Full breath. Imagine the back of your head, back of your shoulders, back of your pelvis are all resting on the ceiling. Take a nice inhale. We're going to let the spine drape. Walk the hands back. Crown reaches for the floor. Nice opening in the sacrum. We're going to walk the hands back to the front of the mat, pivoting that left foot, step back, plank. Take a breath, exhale, pick up the right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pick up the left leg. Inhale, lower. Knees gently to the floor. Child's pose. Allow the hands to sweep to the back of the mat. Allowing ourselves to settle. Hands come to the knees. Stack up. And imagine the back of your head, the back of your shoulders, and the back of your pelvis all aligned against a wall. Three big breaths. Allowing the heart rate and the breath to come back down to resting position. Walking back up to the top of your mat. Spinning around will take Shavasana. Hands on the knees, tip off of the sits bones. And rolling vertebra by vertebra down. Palms facing up, dropping the shoulders, and either lengthening the legs or if you like to have them supported, placing a pillow or a bolster. And just letting everything relax, let go of the muscles. Let go of the need to control the breath. If 
you know places on your body that you hold tension? Just visit them. See if you can just let go a little more fully. short and practice, it's really important to take the time to allow your body to assimilate all the information. And part of what's helpful in that process is being consistent with your breath. If you find yourself holding breath, you're probably holding muscles which isn't helping your body to take in the delicious information that you are offering it. When you're ready, roll over to one or the other side. A little fetal position. I'm just gonna stay here for one breath before I come back up to sitting. And as I come off the floor, I allow for a quality of weightedness. So my head can still stay dropped. So I bring my spine off the mat sequentially so I can work with more ease. Just finding a seated position, you might want to use a bolster or a chair. Bring the palms to face up and just close the eyes. And feel the back of the head, back of the shoulders, and back of the pelvis resting against the wall. And the sits bones sinking down into the earth, the crown reaching for the sky, the palms meet in the middle. Namaste.